This is Realize, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the new Gateway Ultra 3.1.0 public beta to work on the new Nintendo 3DS model. So there are uh, a couple requirements to be put in place first. You will need a genuine cart of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS um, to install the save game exploit, which will be used as the entry point to gain romp and then uh, use memchunk hacks to uh, gain native code execution um, to do the kernel number 11 kernel setup um, so uh, you also need a old 3ds model to install the um, the same game so uh, you'll need to copy over the uh, the launcher and the save game for new Nintendo 3DS uh, for your region over to the SD card for your old 3DS. And then you'll just need to copy the launcher over to the SD card on your new 3DS. So let's go ahead and insert the SD card into the old 3DS. And we'll go ahead and boot it on up. And go to system settings, do the DS profile, entry point. And then we will go to restore 3DS save game. Let's see, start to restore. because we need to actually insert the cartridge. Let's try and do that. Alright, set erasing, writing, restore, done. Press A to exit. Okay, so hopefully that should be good. And go ahead and power down my system. And then we will go ahead and take the game cart out and we'll put it in the Nintendo 3DS. and put the micro SD card in the new Nintendo 3S, which has the launcher on it. And we'll go ahead and boot it on up. Now we'll select the gateway save. Hit start. And supposedly we should just press A to check. And I'm guessing what that's doing is. Well, if you remember this game correctly, I haven't played it in so long, but there's a. I think there's like a high scores post over by your bed that has information related to like. I don't know how many miles you've ran with the Pona and how many fish you caught or some statistics like that. So I'm guessing uh, it's a buffer overflow in in that list of strings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit check. Yep, there we go. And then it gets return order in programming, which hits up menchuk hacks, which allows execution uh, to ARM 11 kernel mode, which does the firm relaunch to get into ARM 9. Um, so there's the gateway menu on the new Nintendo 3DS. I wouldn't touch that. Um, but everything else seems to be the same. 
So let's go ahead and gateway mode. And now we have to insert their DRM dongle to actually get it to boot. Okay. And let's boot into gateway mode. And it should boot right into Immunad, which I have already set up. Doesn't. That is odd. You must be doing something different. Yeah, it totally did not boot up into Ammunad. Huh. I must have formatted it different than what we were doing with um, our firmal own firm launcher. Well, that's weird. Um, okay, so I guess let's power this down. And let's show you guys something that Gateway does not have, which is the Cubic Ninja entry point. boot into the home brew menu. And then we'll go ahead and launch bootstrap. We'll go ahead and launch firmware. And as you can see, uh, my Immunad is working just fine, so must have done something a little bit different than what Gateway did for like the primary partition offset or something. Um, I don't know why that would be an issue. It's really weird. I'll have to look into that. Um, but yeah, so there is booting up into Immunad without signature checks, without a Gateway card at all. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.